It's unusual for Donald Trump to keep such a low profile. He's made one appearance but hasn't spoken in public for a week. His Twitter feed continues to push claims of a stolen election. On Thursday, he tweeted a report alleging 2.7 million Trump votes were deleted from voting systems across the country. The company who made the machines says that didn't happen. And now a government election watchdog insists the election was the most secure in American history. The Elections Infrastructure Government Coordinating Council and the Election Infrastructure Sector Coordinating Committees, part of the Department of Homeland Security, issued a joint statement and emphasised in bold type, there is no evidence that any voting system deleted or lost votes, changed votes, or was in any way compromised. One of the major contributors for making this the most secure election in US history is the fact uh, there were large numbers with vote by mail um, and uh, actual having physical paper ballots. One of Donald Trump's closest aides has reportedly been seeking out officials in various government departments he considers insufficiently loyal to Donald Trump with the intention of firing them. One of the people behind this report has told friends he expects to be culled in the coming days. On Capitol Hill, Democrats continue to urge their Republican colleagues to accept the election result and get back to business. When it comes to the election, Republicans, congressional Republicans, don't have the evidence. They don't have the proof. They don't have anything. Neither does the president. Con congressional Republicans are deliberately casting doubt on our elections for no other reason but fear of Donald Trump. Okay. The Biden team is pushing for access to the daily intelligence briefing. They got them during the campaign, but have been blocked since the election by a White House contesting the result. More Republican senators have expressed concern that could impact U.S. security while stopping short of contradicting the president. Look, one of these two men will be the president of the United States after the election results have come in. And I think at this point, just as a matter of protecting our nation's interests, I do think that both the president and his and, and his competition here, the of Vice President Biden, should have access to those classified reports. President Trump's legal team insists there's a process to follow that could take some time and it continues to fundraise to help the president's efforts in court. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.